Okay, you mentioned the defensive uh, problems the other day. Is there just something fundamental that the guys aren't hitting, or is it an effort uh, problem? It's not an effort problem. We just we've had too many games, not enough practice days. I know we live in a culture and a society where we think the games, oh, it's all about the games. Games are irrelevant unless you know how to practice. And uh, we've got a bunch of new faces on our team that um, since we have not had the amount of practice time that you need to play structured basketball, not just rec league basketball, um, attention to detail slips, Lack of repetitions uh, uh, creates slippage, uh, which then puts a lot of, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot of pressure on your leadership, and our leadership right now is still not established. It's kind of, uh, it's not bad, but it's just not what it needs to be. Um, so that's why we haven't played real well. and. Uh, you know, when you have so many games and such little tight windows, uh, you can't run them into the ground and practice. And you don't get the practice time to get the amount of repetitions that you want. And with young players, I've heard Will Muschamp say this a lot, uh, that football's a developmental sport. Well, so's basketball. You, you better get repetitions so guys understand uh, timing, spacing, attention to detail offensively uh, and the defensive energy that you have to play with to be successful in our system. Um, we just haven't had the practice time and, and the practice that we've had, um, we, we just, you know, maybe I should have run them into the ground leading into the Temple game. And, and when I mean run them into the ground, I don't mean put them on the line and run. I just mean like run a real two and a half, three hour practice because we've got so many young guys uh, that I tried to protect their legs. Heck, that didn't work against Temple, and we regressed going into UMass. So uh, we should have just, I should have just handled last week a lot better. Frank, I think you mentioned uh, last week, I think on your radio show, that Corey is up 32 pounds, somewhere around there, from the last time he played at Delaware. And obviously, he's still adjusting to playing with that weight. What went into him him, him gaining that, and, and where do you think he is in that process of, 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 of and I guess, what's the timeline you see him kind of adjusting to it and getting to a level where he needs to be at? Um, just confidence in his leg. To get to the level he needs to be at, his confidence in his leg, so he can, um, he's practicing a lot better. I just It hasn't translated to to, to playing better in games. Um, like he had real good practices going into whoever we just played UMass, real good. As, as competitive and as consistent uh, as he's been. <coughs> um, obviously there's still a little doubt there. The weight he's gained is not preventing him from playing well. And that's, I, I don't know if that's kind of where you were going with your question. Um, now, the way he gained is because he actually was introduced to the weight room the day he stepped foot on this campus. He had no idea where the weight room was at Delaware. Uh, so, you know, there's no way you're going to play, unless you're Tyler Eulis, and they're few and far between, there's not too many Tyler Eulises out there, you're not going to succeed playing SEC basketball weighing 150 pounds or whatever he weighed when he got on campus.